All right, so I'm also going to mark this as green because we've done it, and I'm going to mark this as so. Let's test it now. So, but uh, in admission service, we want to annotate this with slash physicians. So, we're going to go to slash physicians. So, in the admissions microservice, if we go to the endpoint slash physicians, we are going to get list of employees coming from HR microservice. So, I'm going to save this. So, we are going to do it in slash physicians. So, I forget to put the port here. HR is in port A082. Mm -hmm. All right, so save everything. And I'm going to now run the admission service again. So what we are trying to do is let's see if we are going to be able to, from the admission service, call the HR microservice to get a list of uh, employees, which we call physicians. In admissions, we call them physicians. In HR, they are called employees. Mm -hmm. All right, so what do we have here? So we run this one. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay. All right, so we have Tomcat started in 881. So let's go test. Again, if we go to, meanwhile, we need to make sure that the HR service is also running because HR service is expected to return to be called. So let me also restart the HR service as well. Okay, so HR service should start in port 8082, as you can see. So I'm going to first test the HR service and make sure it's running HR uh, port 8082 HR employees and I have it so now you, you can see it's giving us this is one single object being written and I'm going to also go to admissions ATF1 admissions and patients perfect so now we are in admissions microservice and I want to now request for physicians. So I'm going to say physicians. And from admissions microservice, we are now getting list of physicians. So as know exactly how it works. From admissions microservice, we are making call across the HR microservice and getting list of physicians from there. So we've not actually used microservice exactly, but we are trying to make this communicate. It becomes a microservice uh, when we actually publish them to a service discovery server, which is Eureka, that we are going to do uh, later. So let's see where we are. So we've succeeded in calling the HR microservice from admissions uh, microservice using REST template. The next step is to call the pathology service from the admissions service. So we also want to assign the pathology service from the admissions service and this is what we are going to do in step eight. So at this point, I'm going to take a break. I'd like to thank you for viewing. I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel and also like to remind you to like this video. And uh, if it's been informative for you, let me know by leaving a comment for me uh, in the comment box below this video.